Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to Off the Charts, episode 115. Uh, I'm going to be doing a, another revisiting forgotten bands. Today, I'm going to be talking about Kick Hacks. Before we go on, if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe and tell your friends. So I had fun doing, uh, I guess, the first type of episode, uh, revisiting forgotten bands. And actually, I'm not that I'm learning about out about them myself there, but it's good to get you know names to the to the band members, which I'm not very familiar with usually, especially uh, bands I don't know as much as the bands that I usually love, love, love. So I'll. Uh, Hopefully, I'll be able to educate you a little bit on uh, Kick Hacks. So, Kick Hacks are are a Canadian band. I guess you could put them in the hair metal category, verging on hard rock heavy at times. Uh, they're yeah, they're formed in Regina, Saskatchewan. Um, the members do include uh, George Kristen. Do I have his name right here, Kristoff? Yeah, Kristen. Okay, sorry. George Kristen on vocals. Uh, Victor Langren on bass. Uh, you have to check out that guy's bass. It's not my type of bass. I, You know, like, you got the Gene Simmons axe, which I think looks really cool. This one looks a little odd. It looks like Thor's hammer, but the second Thor's hammer that he, that he got there and uh, uh, the one that's part Groot. Anyway. Kind of looks like that, I guess. There, weird looking bass. Anyway, uh, George Lang, uh, Victor Langern on bass, uh, Raymond Harvey on guitar, uh, Brian Gilstrom on drums, and also Larry Gilstrom on drums. Now, these guys have four albums total, three that I own physically, one that I only own digitally. Uh, it's only available on CD. I don't have a CD player anymore. So, anyway, on that note, cheers to Kick Hacks and you guys for watching. Thank you. Uh. All right, so we'll go through uh, their albums. Again, this is not a ranking. This is just me revisiting. Maybe forgotten band. Forgotten is not the right word, maybe, but you know, it's maybe to the general public. Anybody who likes hard rock, heavy metal, hair metal, whatever, there knows who Kick Axe is. But maybe some people have forgot about them too. You never know. So anyway, so first album would be Vices. Now this is considered by most and myself to be their best one. And my God, does this ever kick? A sorry, <laughs> I was going to say Kick Axe, Kick Ass. Sorry for the pun there. That was actually not even meant, but anyway. This album rocks from A to Z. This is so good. Uh, Heavy Metal Shuffle, Vices is such a good song. Uh, Dream It About You. Uh, On the Road to Rock has got to be the video that I remember watching the Power Hour, and it was part of the, I guess, the commercial. If you didn't have pay TV, there was a channel at the time that show, you know, your first choice, much music, your, but it showed previews, and this was on the preview all the time. That's how I know the song. At the time, I didn't know it was called On the Road to Rock. I thought the guy was saying, On on the Road to Rock. I'm like, I don't even know what the hell that meant at the time, but I was 12 at the time, I guess. This is 80, 84. Yeah, I was 12. So, anyway, this, oh uh, yeah, what else is uh, Just Passing Through? Cause for Alarm. This whole album is like really, sorry, kicks ass. So here's their first album. Uh, if you want uh, your, yourself a dose of good hard rock verging on metal, this one here's for you here. And they came out with their second album called Welcome to the Club. This one's a little bit more polished. I find so Side 2 is a little bit better than Side 1. Uh, Welcome to the Club is good. Uh, Coming After You I like a lot. Uh, Feel the Power. Too Loud, Too Old is great. Uh, there's a video for this album also, which is... 
I only found out about this video maybe a, a year or two ago. Uh, it's for uh, with a little help from my friends. Is that a Beatles cover? I get by, or is it Joe Cocker? I think. Let me know in the comments. I think it's Joe Cocker. Anyway, it's a cover. I know that. So welcome to the club. Not as good as. Uh, the first one, Vices. But if you look at the video for With a Little Help from My Friend, there's like, a gaz not a gazillion, but a whole bunch of Canadian uh, artists. I only recognize two. Uh, obviously, Lee Aaron's there. I was like, holy shit, what, is, what the hell is she doing there? And of course, Zappa Costa. If you're not familiar with Zappa Costa is, I think he's in the Tears Are Not Enough video also. I guess he's a singer from... Um, Anyway, from, from Canada. So, second album, Welcome to the Club. Good, a little bit more polished, but the songs are not as memorable, I find, as that first one here. Then, in 1986, they... See, I don't know the whole story behind it, but they recorded two songs for the Transformers movie, the animated movie, not the Michael Bay over hype crap there that's been happening there but yeah the um the uh, cartoon anyway cartoon movie and uh I forget what the one song is but another one is uh hunger which was well first of all they're i don't know the reason but they're called specter general i don't know what the reasoning for that was where they recorded two songs for the Transformers movie under the name or the band name Spectre General. One of those songs is Hunger, which, if you don't know it, was actually recovered by King Cobra on their first album. It's an odd... At first, I thought it was an odd song, but the more you listen to it, you're like, my wow, God, this actually really kicks ass. This song is very, uh, very good. So they recorded... I'm. I own the two songs on digital. I did download it off iTunes. But uh, I know more of the King Cobra version, obviously, there. So, uh, yeah, they went and did that. If anybody knows the reasoning why they were called Spectre General for the Transformers movie, uh, let me know in the comments here. Da, da, da. Mm. Oh. Anyway. After that, they did their third album, which called Rock the World. Actually, apparently people don't like this album. I like it. I like it better than the second one. Uh, Rock the World is great. The Chain is a cover by uh, Fleetwood Mac, which has got, you know, the bass. Da, 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 but extremely distorted. really stands out. Whether it's in a good or bad way, that's up to your ears there. But um, Warrior is good. Great Escape. I, I, I like this album here, actually. So, Rock the World, their third one. Uh, apparently didn't do too well at the time there. But, um, yeah, I, I like this one a lot here. So, number three, Rock the World. Then, they disbanded in 1986 after this album. Uh, been pretty much inactive. And that's kind of where I started getting to know Kick Axe was after... A lot of my bands that I like, hair metal bands that I like now, I discovered them after the fact. And uh, I was like, oh my God, this is actually good. Like, especially Vices. I remember my friend Steph had a cassette of Vices as a kid. He's like, this is actually very good here. I didn't want to know anything about it. But I did tape off of him that On the Road to Rock song there. Uh, so, anyway, fast forward to 2004. They reunite and make a fourth album, which I do not own physically. I'll put the picture here. Uh, it's called Kick Axe 4. It's fairly decent here, but different singer. Every member is there except the singer, George Kristen. There you go. I think I wrote it well there. Um, and now they're still active and, I guess, touring like a, as a nostalgia act, obviously, there. Uh, all four original members except George Kristen. I'm not sure what the reason is why he's not there. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's... Um, anyway, like I said, if you want a good dose of, you know, honest... 
in the pocket hard rock that first album here like I'll put you know all all of these three are actually very good i was not not that i would not recommend the fourth one it's good there uh, i don't i haven't listened to it as much as i have these three here uh, but the first one is a considered a classic uh, in the uh, hard rock uh, genre there so uh, if you're not familiar with them I suggest going to look on the videos. There's a video for, with a little help from my friends, and obviously On the Road to Rock. On the Road to Rock is actually a pretty cool video also. Uh, it takes place in a high school, and the janitor, I guess, is listening to Kick Axe on his Walkman, and then he show up in the school, kicking doors, and anyway, it's pretty entertaining there, so uh, check it out here. Anyway, that's my little, uh, it's a short episode here, like I said. I'm going to try to do a few of these here, revisiting Forgotten Bands. So today was Kick Hacks. Who's going to be the next one? I got, I know two bands I'm going to be doing very soon also. Uh, again, bands that uh, coulda, woulda, shoulda, I guess there. But uh, this, the first one, if you like your hard rock, hair metal, whatever, check out at least Kick Hacks, Vices, it's that good. So on that note, thank you guys for watching. Once again, if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe, tell your friends, and we shall see you guys next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.